Apple Calendar is one of the most underrated apps that is in the Apple lineup and let me tell you, it's one of the quickest and easiest apps to use. It's perfect for whenever you're on the go and you need to annotate some appointments or some events that in your life, but also has some advanced features that, that if you know, it would help you multiply your productivity. So let's get into it i'm going to show you how to use it and some tips and tricks that not everyone knows and they've helped me so much this last year this is by far my most used app so let's get into it with the new ios 18 upgrades i think this will be the best app for you to get organized so let's get into it this is a pretty simple standard calendar app as you can see you have a yearly view you have a monthly view and a daily view even a weekly view now with ios 18 this is a new feature that they added and which i love because i just like to swipe to the right or to the left to see what do i have to do all those days then if you go to the monthly view, you can see that you can go from, from a more compact calendar view to a more detailed calendar view. I always use the detailed one. I like to have a more detailed view. So yeah, here you have today. If you press it here, it will bring you to today. And then here is all the notifications I would have if you have a new event or if you have a calendar shared with anyone. Whenever they do any kind of changes, it would show it here. Then you can have this, this where you can add a new event to the calendar. And you have now the different kind of calendars. These are really important. You want to have a color for every kind of event. For example, for university, you have one color. For personal calendar, you have another color. For going to the gym, you have another color. And this will help you to visualize easier how many things do you have to do every day. And every day you will have all the hours. So now moving on to the what I think is the most important part the multiple calendars will help you avoid mixing everything together i do have my calendars for gmail i also have my icloud calendars that will be shared in all my apple devices and their calendars with a series suggestions and birthday and programmed reminder to create a calendar you just go here and you press into add a new calendar and did you just name for example i won't go subscribe then i will choose well it would automatically put it into my icloud account and then if you can press here if you want to share this with any of your family members for example your partner or your family or even some friends and then you can select a color you can also personalize the colors different way you don't have to stick to these colors you can personalize the color and then you will press here if you want to habilitate the possibility to all these and events to show notification to create a new calendar and you can see here if you go to this symbol here you can edit again the calendar for example if you want to change the name or if you want to change the color or if you want to make it a public calendar or at the person now we are going to the most important part of this and it's in a new calendar when you're adding a new calendar you can add it as an event or as a reminder because as i told you before the ios 18 upgrade now links both the calendar events and the reminders we made which makes everything way more easier than it was before so with the remind with the reminders just it's like with the reminders app you just put a title some note if you want to add some notes for example here i said for subscribe and in notes i'm going to give a like and it's for um, yeah today and i want to choose the hour and it's going to be at six o'clock and this is if i want to repeat it if i want the reminder to be repeated every hour every day every week every weekend to personalize it the frequency and if you want every hour every day every month etc 
and if I wanted how many days, three days, four days, five days, etc. Then I can add it to a different list of the reminders app. Remember that you can, I will make a separate video of this, but you can make so different lists on the reminders app and you can add it to for example university and with the apple calendar events it's just almost the same as the reminders for example you're going to put a name to it in this case to subscribe and you might want to add a video call or you might add a location in this case your actual location or the location of for example I'm going to for a run. I recently joined a running gr uh, group and I can add the location, which in this case is Las Palmas. The location is there, which will make it easier to arrive. I have everything in my calendar and I can choose if it's an all day event, which in this case isn't. It starts today at 5 p.m. Time zone, it's Canary Islands and it ends at six o'clock. 6 p.m. which is pretty late and I know I'm going to be exhausted and the travel time this is also something I do use a lot and it's how it takes me to go from where I am to the place that I need to arrive and it automatically collates it with the maps so it will take from my location to the location of the event 20 minutes by car or on bicycle <laughs> I think I can also change it to a public transport and I can also choose how long it's it will going to take me for example 30 minutes an hour etc and you can say that you can add that you want it to be repeated every week every two weeks every month etc for example if it's something that it's going to happen every week you are going to choose every week we'll choose the calendar which in this case i don't have one for it but let's see i'm going to use the fitness calendar that i made last year and maybe if i want to add another person for example if i'm doing this with my partner and we will have this calendar for both of us and he will get all the information that i put here in this event so so if I want to be notified an hour before traveling, five minutes before traveling, ten minutes before traveling, which makes it easier, an hour before traveling, not an hour before the event, but as I said, I want to add the travel time, they will notify me an hour before or five minutes before I have to go to arrive, if that makes sense. You can also add from your other app new document. This is something that people doesn't know actually and it's one of my favorite tricks so you can add um, you can add the document from your folders app but you can also add a document holding and dragging it in i mean if i do have for example the let's say there's a document here in this case it's a picture but let's say this is a document i can hold it and then doing this i can drag it and drop it up and there we have it and i can do it with every app for example on safari i want to put a document there or a picture there i can do it exactly the same just as just i saw you and then you can also put here a link or you can put some notes which i do a lot whenever i have for example, a study session i always put all the important topics that I need to cover during that time but in this case just like and subscribe the new, the new trick and tell me if you did know because I don't think people know this and there we have it now something I'm going to talk about now is the compatibility with different apps that Apple has and I'm going to show you a new trick from the Apple Notes app that I didn't tell you because I was saving it for this video so if you go to your iMessage or even your WhatsApp app you will see that you are texting someone they write a date so they will send you a message for example do you want to meet on the 4th of October see how it's then if you press on the date you will be able to create a new event or a reminder with that date so now you create the event and you say meeting my friend which is something that you can also do with the re new reminders app and this is actually quite funny remember the hold and drag situation that we do with the 
documents well you can do the same actually with the events on the calendar you hold it here you do the same you drag it here and then it would be up it will appear as a calendar event isn't that so cool also with notes for example i'm writing my notes and the professor says i need to annotate a date i can select the date and i will be able to create an event or to create a reminder i can create a reminder with this and it will be everything more easily so that was basically everything so i hope you like it and leave me in the comments if you knew it and if there is another feature that i didn't know about and maybe you want to share with everyone that watched this video so yeah have a nice day and see you soon bye <laughs>